Hey everyone, so this is going to be an overheating test with the Sony Xperia X. Now some reviewers have claimed that the phone overheats, so we're going to go ahead and see if that's true. The phone I have is actually a retail unit, it's not a review unit, and it's also updated with the latest version of the software. So I'm going to be comparing it versus all these Xperia phones you see here. Now on the far left is the Sony Xperia X, and then next to it is the Z3 Compact, the Z3V on Verizon, the Z3 Plus, the Xperia M5, the Z5 Compact, the Z5, and the Z5 Premium. Alright guys, so we're going to do a 4K overheating test. And the Sony Xperia X actually does not have a 4K mode. Uh, maybe that's because it does in fact overheat. So instead we're going to do the next best option, which is Full HD 60 frames per second. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I know these phones have the apps closed out. Alright, starting up the timer. Oh yeah, and I've also put all the phones on airplane mode. So I'll let you guys know once one of the phones starts to overheat. Alright, so you see we have an overheating issue right now with the Z3V. So I'll let you guys know once that's officially finished. Alright, there you have it. The Xperia Z3V just finished at around 7 minutes and 20 seconds. It looks like we have an issue with the M5 over here. So this sometimes happens where phone or where the M5 shuts down like that, uh, but it only lasted 10 minutes, 25 seconds, 4.0 gigabytes. Surprising because in the past when I've done this test, it always did better than that, but who knows what the issue with that was. All right, and now we have the Z3 Plus starting to overheat. Alright, and we are getting a warning message now on the Xperia X. Not a good sign, so I'll let you guys know when that's done. And now the Z3 Compact has a warning message. And the Z3 Plus is finished at around 19 minutes 20 seconds. All right, and the Z3 Compact. Yep, the Z3 Compact just finished at around 21 minutes. All right, and there you have it. At 22 minutes, the X is finished. Uh, I gotta say, it's pretty disappointing. Uh, we just, you know, the Z5 series, it doesn't have the warning message up. So we'll go ahead, I'll give more thoughts on that in a second, but we'll go ahead and see how the Z5 series holds up. Alright, and so it took a while, but we're finally getting a warning message on the Z5 Premium at around 29 minutes in. And at around 34 and a half minutes, the Z5 Compact has a warning message as well. There you have it, the Z5 Premium just finished at around 35 minutes 40 seconds. Very impressive.
over 45 minutes for the Z5 Compact. And now we have a warning message for the Z5. And a correction, the Z5 actually finished before the Z5 Compact, I just didn't realize it. Uh, but I'll give you guys a look at the file sizes on those two, the ones that came in first and second place. So you can see massive files, 17, 16 gigabytes. Now let's have a look at the scoreboard. So I've done this test a lot of times with all of these phones, and i got to say the results are pretty consistent. One exception is the M5. Usually the M5 does better. Um, but aside from that, it's very consistent with results in the past. Now at the X, you see it does have an asterisk next to it, and that is because, again, we are not actually recording this in 4K. Uh, we're recording in full HD, 60 frames per second. So since this is actually around half the time as the uh, Z5 series, that's pretty unimpressive, all things considered. Go ahead and show you this file size on this. So that was 4.25 gigabytes and 22 minutes, 27 seconds. Also just want to add in that before I recorded this video, I did the same exact test with the X. Uh, however, I didn't compare versus all these phones, I just did it by itself. Um, and the results are very consistent. It was around 22 minutes for the other two times too. So yeah, overheating definitely seems to be an issue with this. It's worth pointing out that for the Z3 Plus, for example, the overheating definitely improved in time with software updates. So it doesn't excuse the fact that the Z5 series does a lot better than the X. So again, guys, in conclusion, definitely disappointing. I hope that Sony is able to at least partially correct this through software updates. And I will be doing this test again once I get the other Xperia X phones like the XA, the X Performance, uh, and the XA Ultra. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please subscribe if you aren't already. I buy all Xperia phones and I also buy all major smartphones from many manufacturers. Thanks for watching and let me know what video you want to see next.